Welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Made with Love Delectable Edibles. Colin and Alex, it's great to have you on. How was your long weekend, first of all? It was really good. Yeah? I'm tired. I'm tired. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired, but Th I'm, this I'm is good. That's what happens on a long weekend. You need a weekend to rest up from all the craziness, right? <laughs> yeah. Were you out with the kids? Were you camping? Oh, yeah, or absolutely. what were you doing? Yeah, we went um, to the Lumbee area and went mm -hmm. camping with a bunch of friends and nice. had a great time. Nice. Good for you. Uh, so we are making today a pesto garlic meatball with tomato sauce. It's going to be delicious, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I've got to start that here is actually I've got ground bison today. So you could use ground bison or ground organic beef or regular ground beef, whatever you like. Um, and I've got two tablespoons of the pesto garlic and one tablespoon of the red pepper. Mm. And I'm just gonna muck that all together and start rolling some meatballs. So what does a bison ground beef taste like, uh, you know, comparatively speaking to cow? Um, almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Can't tell a difference? Um, I can't really tell a difference. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the difference? Well, I guess, uh, I guess if I thought about it and someone said it was bison, it tastes gamier. Does it taste a bit gamier? <laughs> a tiny bit. Because you know, one time right. I had a friend who served me up tacos and didn't tell me until we finished that it was moose meat, mm -hmm. which is fine, the trick's over, but you know, I couldn't tell. There was no gamier flavor. No. So would no. you say bison is a little bit gamier than moose, for example? I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Okay. I'm probably it does a exactly super lean. Same. It is super it is lean. lean. Yeah. yeah. So excellent. we actually, if you want to turn that element on um, to about medium high. Oh! I have a mic that's not working. That's all right. Now so you we'll have start one on. Talking again. Happens every day on the job for me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so okay. We're, I've got this on to sort of medium. So for the recap, bison mm -hmm. tastes pretty much exactly like ground beef. Mm -hmm. And we're mixing in the pesto garlic and the red pepper mm -hmm. to give it some sort of spicy Italianness. Mm -hmm. And we're going to melt a couple tablespoons butter because bison is really, really lean. So it needs a little bit of something on the bottom. I think it does. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to. You could use olive oil as well, but I like the flavor of the butter mm -hmm. in this dish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make these pretty little balls and I'll just start throwing them in. What are you doing, Colin? So I am uh, chopping some pepper for the sauce. We're going to be doing. Uh, a red sauce just on, on top, and it's basically just going to be um, one can of um, tomato sauce here, and then uh, two um, mixed peppers um, chopped and added. Very nice. And then today we're going to toss this onto pasta, but you can do whatever you want. You can toss it on salad. Even. So it's awesome. I'm a big believer in, uh, like I made spaghetti for dinner last night, and I, I think it's good if you can let it sit and simmer away for two or three hours, right? Mm -hmm. So this is something you want to make in advance. I, I did do it yesterday inside of half an hour. Not as good. It, it just doesn't have the time to let all those flavors seep in. This recipe specifically is pretty awesome for super fast That's going. good. I know, because that's what you guys specialize in, <laughs> super yeah. fast. Yeah. So that's good. And I like doing it so the peppers are still a little bit little bit crispy in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it doesn't need a lot of t cooking, but I do hear what you're saying. When you're doing like a nice ragu on a sort of a whole medley of different veggies and such, mm -hmm. that extra time just lets all oh, those yeah. flavors come together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When is this going to go in? After? So this is going to go in after. We're okay. going to cook. We're basically going to brown the, brown the meatballs and then we're going to add our tomato sauce and our peppers Fantastic. and our Parmesan cheese. Fantastic. We're just getting set here to take a break. Look at how delicious this looks. Let's get that close-up of those meatballs. Yummy. Uh, we're going to let these brown up, as Colin mentioned. We're going to take a break. We're going to check in a little bit later. We're going to turn this into a gorgeous pasta dinner. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us. Spaghetti and meatballs is what we're having. Uh, this is a bison meatball, and they smell so good. And we've added some good, healthy red peppers, yellow peppers, to the mix now. Uh, well, it doesn't take long, does it, really? It doesn't. Mm -mm. No, this is kind of the super fast notion of doing spaghetti. A uh, great weeknight supper when you are in a hurry. And we've really upped the veggie content there by adding three different sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. A red, an orange, and a yellow. How do your kids like peppers? Like, I can they sneak really mine in. Like they really like them. Yeah, they really like peppers. Because I guess if kids don't love them and you still want them to get that in, I, I always find chopping things up smaller helps. Our guys like peppers as long as they're barely cooked 
and crunchy. They don't like soggy peppers. Is that right? So that's another reason for this spaghetti mm. and meatball recipe and doing the quick cook time. Well, it looks beautiful. Some really nice colors in there. I see that we're using a whole wheat pasta to round out the meal today. Yes, we, we are. are. Mm -hmm. And then Colin is going to dump in. One can of tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to give this a little stir? Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm going to add about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. See, I notice these meatballs are quite tender. I'm afraid I'm going to break them. No. So I'm, I'm stirring gently. Yeah, stir gently. You know what? You don't even have to do the meatballs. If I was at home, I think nine times out of ten, there's no way I would roll <laughs> meatballs. I would just, you just add stir the meat. it all. Meat, spices, mm -hmm. veggies, mm -hmm. done. But kids like meatballs. Yes, they do. And I, I don't make mine either. I just add the ground beef, but I don't make them meatballs. So maybe I should be a fun mom, a funner mom, <laughs> and make meatballs next well, time. Well, get them to make the meatballs. You know what? Make, make it a family meatballs. affair. Meatballs. Sure. Roll me out some meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> That's go. right. You know, it's actually good to get your kids involved in the dinner making yeah. process. We talk about that with Rosan of how your kids are more likely to try something new or be interested in something if they've helped m make oh, it, right? Yeah, no, yeah. totally. Absolutely. And so then we're just simmering up that spaghetti sauce. We just used a tin of organic tomato sauce in there. Mm -hmm. So you don't need anything special, just some some basic tomato sauce. We could use tomato paste and water or crushed tomatoes as well if you like. And get that all together and that's about it. And now just in regard quickly to this bison meatball, is bison widely available in most grocery stores? Yeah, it is. Yeah? Okay, good to know. Yeah, um, all the Savons have it and uh, most of the Coopers have it mm -hmm, as well too. Mm -hmm. It's usually in the freezer section. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, look at the freezer section and your meat section, you'll find bison. Fantastic. All right, mm -hmm. how much time do we have left? Probably about two minutes, I'm, th I'm thinking. Um, perhaps we'll uh, take a look at that packaging there and see, yes, in fact. I just always look for the regular ground beef, but uh, mm -hmm. good to branch out, try something different. Most of our specialty meats are in the freezer case. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking for organic or you're looking for a free range meat, um, look in the freezer section Good and just know. ask the butcher. Of Colin, course. do you want to toss some of that parsley in here? Absolutely. And I will just serve up a little of this. That looks really good, Ready guys. to go. Beautiful. All we right. Take a little bit out of here and give it a go. We'll give it a little sample. Mm -hmm. Try the bison meat. We've got about 30 seconds yeah, here. Yeah, and speaking of sampling, we'll be in uh, the Cooper's Brockle Hearst nice today. Nice segue, so Colin. Blend. Look there at you. So go. savvy with yeah. the segue. Yeah, Cooper's mm. Foods mm. in Brock. If you would also like to come and taste some of our pesto garlic meatballs. Mm -hmm. Between so about 3.30 and 5.30 today. Out of time. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.